Over here. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy touristas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Headed to the Grand Hotel Caballero. There's a truck moving. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. And I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. The fuck you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. Oh, for mm -hmm. her. Fuck mm -hmm. that. Go on. Head up. Dentists were always late. Not this one.
a beautiful set of teeth you have, Fusano. Now tell me. You're a medic. Hugo, where is La Morale's headquarters? Fuck you! Hija de puta! We are well. Yelena, the dentist is dead. La morale is safe. For now. That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They tortured their last Gracias. area here. You she sure was you're going not to La Morale, Danny? For sure. I'm just saying. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or our business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea coppas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. 